hey guys what's up it's your shield welcome back to new video on my channel today i am back again with white out survival the month of september is about to end and developers feedback is also here so this time we check the developers feedback and we give our opinion you know when we start playing the game white out survival a uh, notification comes and it tells us to give rating in play store also they want us to praise them or roast them so i directly roast them or praise them in my video if they do something good i praise them if i don't like their work i roast them so this time we check our developers feedback let's jump in our video here is the developers feedback let's read them and i will give my opinion on it okay what is the first can we have a feature for alliance management to identify which participants in can clash are not actively contributing and the answer is definitely in a future update we will add a feature to help alliance admins keep track of the points earned by participants okay that is also good thing i like the suggestion i like the reply yo i like both of them it is really some good thing we can track who is actively participating and what is happening this is important thing and i like this let's check the next one when upgrading buildings or training troops i want to see the current fire crystal level of the building okay that is good but i don't think it is very important does it make any sense he want to see the current fire crystal level of the building i mean okay it is some type of good suggestion but it is not very important why devs pick this suggestion what is the reply good point we are planning improvements to the building's details uh, screen to make resource management a breeze okay that is some uh, update about the improvement of the game so in that way it is good but i don't think this one is too much important uh, everything is important but something is very much important something is less important i think they can pick some other suggestion anyway that is also good thing i have no problem with this let's check the next one can you stop using general speed ups by default in the foundry okay that is really some big issue that is some big issue and what is the answer definitely we will soon introduce prompts when healing speed ups are depleted before general speed ups are used okay that is also some good thing okay i like the suggestion i like the reply it is really some important issue it is really some important issue and devs are thinking of about this that is really good thing i like it let's check the next one i need some specific tags to better express my current status what he is talking about what is tag okay i think he is talking about the profile tag wait a minute i think i i talked about this thing long ago yo i think i talked about this uh, tag long ago what is the reply coming right up we will be introducing status tags in a future update to help you express your gaming mood more vividly okay i think this guy just copied my idea i don't know if he really copied my idea because i think i am the one who talked about this first i can show you one proof i have my suggestion in the suggestions so i can show you the proof wait i have opened suggestions it is really difficult to find but i think i can find let me find it guys okay i get it okay my suggestion was profile should be better looking it should be more attractive i have a photo for it yeah i designed a photo myself i designed an outline myself let's check that okay for some reason the photo is not opening maybe it is too late okay check the date 8 6 that is long ago okay, so i cannot show you the photo but i can tell you what was in the photo i was talking about some good looking profile like there will be one uh, place for the profile picture one place for cover picture i also talked about the tag and in a video i talked about the trophy system we can in introduce the trophy system in our profile we can show the trophy in our profile also the tag we can show the tag in our profile the tag will express uh, our personality and i am the one who talked about this because you can check the date 8 6 the photo is not showing here but i talked about this thing and i don't know if this guy copied my idea but the thing is devs did not reply to my suggestion but devs replied to that suggestion i said this first but someone else copied my idea and devs replied uh, to him i don't know if he really copied my idea or if he telling from himself 
but dev swiveler did not reply to me the profile suggestion anyway the tag system is coming that is good thing let's check the next one can the infirmary capacity mail specify the types and number of troops that exceed the infirmary capacity and die okay that is also some big topic what is the reply that is a great suggestion we will be updating the mail notification soon to include detailed troops loss okay it is really good thing and devs are thinking on it that is really nice that is really nice we need to know which troops are dying in our uh, infirmary full capacity we need to know that so that is really some good suggestion and devs are also replying on that but what that's it only these suggestions okay i have a lot of problems with devs right now there could be some better suggestions but devs pick only uh, these suggestions they picked only some suggestions like this i don't think all of them are very important i like this one the participant track in in the events i also like this one the general speed ups in the foundry but i don't think the other others one are too much important there could be some big issues and devs did not talk about that issue i was going to talk about uh, something but i saw someone else was talking on that in, in the suggestions so i did not tell anything about that that was uh, there should be some feature for auto translation you know when someone is typing something in other language you have to click the double arrow button and you can translate that it is really stressful work in in any events or any when you are busy so it should be some auto translated things and i thought someone else uh, was talking about that in the suggestions so i did not tell anything myself and devs did not tell anything about that what is the auto translation in the whole developers feedback i cannot see the auto translation and i have one more thing i i think i talked about that some weeks back that is there should be some more way to get the steel like we can rank in leaderboard and we can get some steel from there because you know in this game steel is very difficult to collect you can get steel from exploration then you need steel in normal research in fire crystal research also you can use your steel to get fire crystal shards so steel is very important and we get very small amount of steel so i was talking i, I think uh, maybe i forgot that in the suggestions i was talking that we need some more ways to get steel like we can get from leaderboard we, we can rank top in leaderboard and we can get some steel but in the whole developers feedback i am not seeing anything like that this developers feedback is totally useless i am seeing the worst developers feedback of my life i am not saying suggestions are useless some suggestions are really good but the thing is dev should pick more suggestions they should pick more suggestion and they should give, uh, give reply to more suggestions this developers feedback is totally useless i don't like it i'm not again guys i'm not uh, insulting these guys who are suggesting uh, maybe the suggestions are really good but the feedback is really bad there are more big issues and devs did not talk about those issues and i am so much sad with seeing this i talked about the tag i talked about trophy system i talked about cover photo in the profile i talked about the country flag lot of things i designed a full profile but devs did not reply to my message anyway let's check some other thing i just talked about the developers feedback i gave my opinion and my opinion is i don't like the developers feedback for this month now we'll be checking some faq about the frost dragon tyrant let's see what they are talking about the frost dragon tyrant let's start how does matchmaking work in the frost dragon tyrant event what is the answer states with similar progress will be matched into the same zone in the frost dragon tyrant event your state progress is evaluated based on the okay i know what is the reply and i know it will not work it will never work i have seen sbs i have seen foundry battle and i have seen the matchmaking is horrible every time the matchmaking is bad every time one team is too much powerful one team is too much weak so they are saying how the matchmaking will, will work and they are saying that it will be for a similar progress and I, I know these things are useless matchmaking will be never equal matchmaking will be always bad so i am not going much details on this you guys already know if you have played foundry battle and other events you know the matchmaking what is next how many members can an alliance disperse to the frost dragon tyrant battlefield what is the answer the r4 and r5 of qualified alliance can assign up to 60 players wait a minute what is that only 60 players i was thinking we could send 100 players there i mean the full alliance we could send full 100 players but they are telling only 60 players 
it is like foundry battle only some people can participate that is too much bad thing i was expecting this event like sbs and they are saying only 60 player can participate what is that okay i don't like this i really don't like this yo devs devs listen can you please increase the number if you cannot make 100 can you make at least 80 60 is too much low number only 60 players from a alliance what is that there are a lot of players in uh, every alliance and only 60 people can participate other players cannot that is really bad thing that is really bad i don't like this one i really don't like this one what is next can alliance members not participating in battle help with troops healing okay the answer is yes players are not assigned as combatant can assist with troop sailing okay that is some normal thing we know that what is next if other events like foundry or castle battle are scheduled for this weekend will they continue as planned or be rescheduled for the frost dragon talent okay i have nothing to do with this i know the answer no events will be overlapped so don't worry what is next how often will the frost dragon talent event be held okay i also know the answer before reading this i know the answer the answer is since this is the frost dragon tyrant first time we will continue to optimize it based on the player's feedback okay so they are telling that they do not know the date they do not know the date when it is coming next time so bro who are you who are you asking this question you should definitely know that they will never give the answer when it is coming next time why you are asking this question anyway let's check the next one is the frost dragon tyrant event strictly alliance based battle when is the cutoff to join an alliance for participation Yes, the event is alliance based. Players need to be in alliance before the phase 1 sign up ends. Okay, that is some very common thing. We know it. What is next? Are troops losses permanent in the Frost Dragon Tyrant event or will they recover like Foundry Battle after the event ends? That is some important question. Let's check the answer. There is no cap for the infirmary inside the Frost Dragon Tyrant battlefield and players can take their time to heal those injured troops after leaving the battlefield. However, if the infirmary is full and further troops injured, occur after leaving the battlefield interface the infirmary will not be able to accommodate more injured troops resulting in a permanent loss that is some big problem for free to play player that is some big problem for free to play players free to play players can lose good amount of troops there if their infirmary is full they come out of the battlefield and they can lose some troops there if anyone attack them by mistake anything happens like that okay in this event i see one very bad thing that is this infirmary the infirmary could be like foundry battle we can leave the battlefield and we can auto heal them but no they cannot be auto healed this is really bad this thing is really really bad and guys i already talked about this thing in my frost dragon tyrant event uh, first video if you remember i talked this thing and look developers are also giving the exact same answer you can lose your troops in this uh, event what is next if my city is attacked in the battlefield will my troops be injured or lost the battle mechanics is similar to the castle battle event attacking buildings result in only injured troops direct attacks on cities will result in permanent loss while defending will only result in injured troops okay i see free to play players will face lot of problem free to play players are going to lose lot of troops in this event okay i have lot of problem with this uh, this uh, frost dragon tyrant and today i am seeing lot of things are going against against uh, our direction we can actually lose our troops in this event why they did not make the event similar like foundry battle they are making everything similar like sbs the winner uh, will get some skin then the winner will get some uh, bonus like the minister everything looks like same but why this infirmary is different make the infirmary similar like foundry battle we can lose our troops for playing this event I'm not satisfied too much with this uh, feedback. Now let's check the latest event news. There is a new event coming. Let's see what is the event. The event is coming because Whiteout Survival has completed 90 million downloads. If you know that, that is really good thing for them. They have completed 90 million downloads. To celebrate this, they are giving some new uh, event. Let's check that. First, honor tribute. To celebrate the honor festival, each chief could get 1000 festival voucher on login use them in prize draw for a chance to get bountiful reward okay i know what will happen we will not get any big reward if you are free to play we cannot get any big rewards by free i do not know much but i think we cannot get any big free reward here let's check the next one festival gift 
Complete special missions for a chance to get festival gift. Each gift contains bountiful reward to help you in your journey on the tundra. Okay, if this thing is similar like King of Icefield, I will be mad. If this thing is similar like King of Icefield, I will be mad. What is the next? Marvelous Fantasy. Okay, I know what is this thing. We got this thing many times. The colorful match 3 adventure is back with even more challenge on your weight and strategy. What is that strategy? I can say it has no strategy. The Marvelous Fantasy, it has no strategy. I'll be happy if they introduce something new in this Marvelous Fantasy this time. If they introduce this game based on player's intelligence, not on spending. Because if you have a lot of uh, power-ups, I cannot remember the name of the power-ups. If you purchase those power-ups, you can easily clear any difficult level. This event needs no talent. You can use your money and you can clear all the levels. Okay, so if this event comes with very good thing this time, like it depends on player's talent. So we can actually complete this event properly and we can have fun. At least I will be happy. But if the event is similar like other Marvelous Fantasy, we have to spend to uh, cross some specific level, then I do not know what I will do. And if you don't know what is Marvelous Fantasy, you can go to my channel and you can check video. I have different videos on this Marvelous Fantasy. The event is not any big thing. You have to collect three type of similar blocks. And when the three similar blocks will come in one place, they will be eliminated. And you have to clear the whole area to win the specific level. It is simple thing, but there are some level which is really difficult to cross. What is the next festival shop? Complete festival missions or purchase packs. Wait a minute. What is that? Purchase packs. We have to purchase packs. Oh my god. Whiteout Survival has completed 90 million downloads. They should give us something for free. And they are telling us to purchase packs. What is that? Oh my god. What, what is the full thing? Complete festival missions on our purchase packs to earn silver shell and honor points. Collect them and exchange for rewards. Okay, that is too much pay to win. This thing is too much pay to win. At least give us something for free. Whiteout Survival is completing 90 million downloads and they are telling us to purchase packs to get some gifts. Oh no. Okay guys, I checked the developer's feedback. I checked the FAQ about the Frost Dragon Tyrant. And I also checked the latest event. And I am not satisfied with anyone. I am not satisfied with anyone. Nothing uh, good topic is raised. Uh, in the developer's feedback. In the developer's feedback, we could talk about some important topic like auto translation or some more source for the steel, but we cannot see anything like that. Some other things which is not very important. And you check the FAQ about the Frost Dragon Tyrant, you know what is happening. And in the latest event, we have to purchase packs to celebrate their celebration. What is that? Okay guys, in my last video on the Frost Dragon Tyrant, I told uh, I told you that I will show you the prediction and the champions if when the event will finally come. So the event has uh, come and I will show you what is there. Let's go. Here is the Frost Dragon Tyrant and here we see the prediction. It has three different parts. Tyrant prediction, championship prediction and prediction shop. Okay, you already know this. So in the Tyrant prediction, you can predict on the alliance. You can just predict who is going to win. I, I mean, you have to predict. There is nothing skill. It is just luck. Okay, I have nothing much to say about it. Just check the alliance and think which alliance is going to win. Then give your vote on them. That is the Tyrant prediction. Next one is championship prediction. You have to... It is some trivia. You have to vote on yes or no like this. I am giving you one example. How long will the Frost Dragon Tyrant in your zone occupy the capital? Uh, more than 2.5 hour, less than 2.5 hour like this. You can you can vote on anyone. It depends on luck. We cannot say anything before. I, I do this. Okay. And you can also see what um, other people are telling. 61% people are voting on this. So it de depends on your luck. And in the prediction shop, there are a lot of items, but I already told you if you are free to play, which one you should get. And here you can see the champions if it is some type of preparation in SBS, we get preparation and here you are getting some preparation things. Let's see the task. The first that is the gathering task and the rest of them is troops training. So for the first day, all the tasks are for free to play player, not any difficult task. And you can get a lot of points by completing them and you can check the chest. If you complete the point targeted point, you can get the item from the chest. That is some good things I can see there. You can check the percentage what you are going to get. 
so for the first day i am seeing everything for free to play maybe other things can come in next day but for first day it is fine so guys i told you i can show you the prediction and championship here you can see the prediction and the championship so guys i want to say the developers feedback is almost useless there were some good suggestions but the overall feedback is nothing that is too much useless let's see if developers do something good uh, initiative they do something good so we can actually get some benefit especially i need the auto translation i know a lot of people are thinking about the auto translation that will be really some good thing let's see if developers think about this that is all for today's video i hope you enjoy the video thank you so much for watching and bye bye